So did the cold air intake install on my Jeep Gladiator back here cause the check engine light to come on? Well, good morning, everybody, and welcome back to the channel. That's right, today I just wanted to kind of address a couple of comments I've had um, about the little check engine light that came on in my Jeep Gladiator here. Um, I put a cold air intake on and did that cause the check engine light to come on? Well, first of all, you can never be too sure, but I thought we'd take a quick look under the hood. It's a pretty simple, clean install, so really, uh, doing anything that would cause that to happen is probably pretty unlikely, but I thought I'd run through it with you guys anyway, and myself, just to kind of have another look. Uh, you can see right here, it is, it is an S&B cold air intake uh, with this gorgeous clear cover on it. This is one of the reasons that I liked it, in addition to the sound that I get. But you've got a nice open airflow over here, so we're not restricting the airflow or anything. The air box is actually a bit bigger, um, so we have more air capacity here. Not concerned that we've really strangled the engine or anything and that that might have caused some kind of an issue um, as far as that check engine light coming on. And remember, the code that came up said that there was a misfire. Um, let's go on down here. We've got only a couple of other connections, really. We've got the PVC line here, goes right in at about the same spot that it did uh, on the other cold air intake. That's nice and seated. There's no issues there. There's no leaks. It snaps on. Um, it can't go anywhere. So no real problems there. Moving on down, we have the MAV sensor, the MAF sensor, mass airflow here. Um, no real issue there either, I don't think. You know, S&B provides this grommet that you can see here. And there is a little nub right there that you twist the cold air intake up against. When you do that, it aligns the cold air intake in the tube so that the air rushes past it. And that's how it registers or reads everything, I guess. Um, it's in there properly. It's seated properly against the little nub here. It is up and down in there properly, the same as it was, I checked, in the original cold air intake. So no issues there. Moving on up to where it connects to the throttle body, you've got a couple of clamps. They're tight. I checked those as well. No issues there as far as, you know, the clamping or maybe creating some sort of an, an airflow leak or anything crazy like that. So that's really about it. There isn't really any room for air otherwise. The cold air intakes are really pretty simple and if they're done properly um, from a good quality company like S&B, then I don't see how that could be causing any kind of an issue. Now, granted, you can't say for sure. I mean, you know, things happen and when you change out the OEM stuff with aftermarket parts, of course, there's always room for some sort of a problem, but I am about 99% confident that putting the cold air intake on my Jeep Gladiator did not cause um, the check engine light to come on. Now, one other suggestion I had, and I'm going to do this, was to disconnect the battery, reconnect it, um, kind of to reset the system. Um, I am going to do that just for kicks. Honestly, I have not had, since we reset uh, the code, I haven't had another error message. Uh, there has not been another check engine light come on or anything like that. I just have a little bit of a rough idle. Um, and I'm probably being overly particular there. When I say rough, I mean, I just, I can feel the engine kind of slightly stumble, if you will. Best way I can describe it. Uh, here and there, but nothing horrible. It's not like it's, you know, running terribly or rough or crazy or anything like that. So that's, that's the install. That's what I did. Uh, again, I don't believe there's any problem uh, with the cold air intake and that it's, it caused that light to come on. Still possible, but I really don't think so. Anyway, leave a comment down below. I'm particularly interested if you've installed a cold air intake on your Gladiator or any other Jeep, really. Uh, with the 3.6 liter motor. Um, I'd be curious to know if you had any issues with check engine lights in yours. Also, real quick, shameless plug, if you're interested and you haven't before, or maybe if you have, check out my other channel. It is Rob Motive, all about my 2020 Toyota Tacoma, resting comfortably right up there. 
Don't forget to click that notification bell so that you don't miss out on any upcoming videos. And do me a favor, on the way out, smash that subscribe button. Thanks for watching. Stay safe out there. Bye.